Hi family! I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, I have been praying <laughs> for all of you and um, I wanted to make a video because um, some wonderful things have been happening in the spiritual and um, through other people and I wanted to bring an encouraging message. So I want to start off with saying um, I watched a video a few uh, days ago or, m or maybe a week ago and it brought um, some prophetic words that somebody had gotten um, and some words from the Lord and I, I received a lot of different confirmations for um, a lot of different things that the Lord had told me personally and um, something um, that was really important that I read that really spoke to my spirit uh, was the importance if you're if you physically can um, to kneel while you pray or to at least ha have you know a, a moment um, within your day or, or or when you're talking to the Lord because we know that's what prayer is prayer is a conversation that you're having with the Lord and um, when when I pray or when I talk to the Lord I always start off with um, and and not that you have to follow this at all it's just just so um, if you know if anybody's wondering or um, you know if they if they want a little bit of a guideline this is what I do but when I start off with prayer I always start with Thanksgiving you know I just and, it, and it's hard not to do that because um, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, or Adonai, Yahweh, um, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, they are so worthy of all praise and all love. And um, <laughs> so, so when, I, when I come to them, and then when I'm communing with them, I start off with just just telling them how much I love them and how thankful I am for the things that they've given me and, and what they've done. No matter how small, no matter if nothing big has happened, you know, just the fact that um, that I get to wake up and, and I get to um, and I get to, to say his name and I get to just spend time with him no matter what that is or or um, whatever it is, so I, so I thank him, I thank them, and I, and I speak to them, and and I start off with praise, um, and then and then I ask them to to remove anything um, in me that's not of them, and so there's a repentance that happens there. There's um, I ask for forgiveness because um, not <laughs> not that we're we're repenting or asking for forgiveness because we're not saved. It's just something um, that I feel is is necessary because there's never a point where we don't want to disappoint somebody we love or or hurt them, and um, the majority of the time it, it's not that we purposely do these things to hurt to hurt the Lord, right? But just um, a thought or or maybe. Um, a way that we talk to somebody or uh, something that we say um, you know out loud to ourselves if, if, if something's upset us um, whatever it is you know um, maybe we've watched something that we shouldn't have um, whatever it is I never want him to think that I that I'm doing it purposely to hurt him because I know sin any kind of sin no big no matter how big or small hurts the Lord right because he is holy he is a holy righteous beautiful <laughs> father and um and so and so I I go into repentance I go into um, asking for forgiveness for anything that I might uh, hurt him with or offended him with, you know, and, and not just that, but sometimes the enemy will 
try uh, to infiltrate um, in, in different ways. And then so that way I ask him to cleanse me from anything uh, or any doors that the enemy might have tried to open or that, that might have tried to put something in my life to make me stumble. So it's almost like just asking him to clean house and make sure that um, there's there's nothing seeded in there or nothing that the enemy's planted that's that's going to grow and, 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 you know, turn into to full-blown sin or maybe to turn into something that's going to affect me um, more than just, you know, that day. And then, um, and then while I'm talking to him, so after, after I ask him to cleanse me, I'll go ahead and I'll just talk to him. I'll tell him about my day I'll, and I'll tell him about my worries and, and, um, I just talk. I talk from the heart, uh, just like he was there. And um, <laughs> uh, usually in the midst of that, I um, I break out into song. <laughs> it's something, um, not that I have like a super singing voice, but, um, and, you know, it's my way of like praising him. You know, I make up little songs on the spot and... Um, and he loves that, guys. Anything that you would do for him, if it's singing or, or drawing or painting or, or an instrument or um, it, just anything. You know, it doesn't have to be um, anything huge. But just anything that you do for him, it, it <laughs> it's he cherishes those moments. So I usually break out into some sort of, some sort of song, some sort of praise. And... Um, and that usually leads into um, speaking in tongues, or uh, some people might know it as um, conversing in your prayer language, uh, which is really powerful um, because um, the enemy doesn't know what you're saying, and it's a direct dialogue uh, with you and uh, Father God, uh, with Yahweh. And so um, it's really special in that way that your spirit is directly talking to him, so um, if you're interceding for somebody in particular or whatever's being said in the spirit to him, um, it's, it's a very powerful tool. And, um, if that's not a gift that you have, guys, that doesn't mean that you're not saved. It doesn't mean, um, you know, that you're not going to heaven or you're not being raptured. It has nothing to do with that. It's a gift. And you guys can ask for that. You pray on it and, um... And uh, it's something that he can give you, something that Jesus can give you. So don't, um, I know there's been a lot of misinformation out there. And um, don't ever, don't ever think that because you don't have a gift that somebody else has, that that means that you, you're not saved or that you're not uh, as special or important or, or, or whatever. Because every single person is incredibly special and unique to the Lord. No one will have the same gifts as somebody else. Um, no one will have the same purpose as somebody else. He loves you so much, and you're an integral part into the body of Christ. Everybody has his place. Everybody has a mission, which is why it's so important to keep letting to keep allowing the Lord to work through you in your life to touch other people to bring a gospel message of his love and how much um, he wants those that are lost those those that haven't came to him yet because those are our brothers and sisters and 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 they have an important part to play too which is why Satan that's why the enemy has worked so hard to keep them from the Lord because they all have a special purpose so don't ever forget that that you're loved you're loved beyond measure he knows everything about you he knows every single hair on your head he collects every single one of your tears the desire he's placed in your heart are his desires for your life and he wants the very best for you. And that doesn't mean we're not going to go through trials. It doesn't mean that we're, um, that we're not going to get refined. Because that's an important process. But that means that you're special. And he is walking along with you your whole life. No matter what you're going through. And it doesn't matter how many times you fall. It doesn't matter how many times that, that you backslide. As long as you get back up and you keep walking with him. That's what matters. So I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure what the Lord wanted me to talk about um but there's an emphasis there on on prayer and spending time with him and and understanding how very very special you are and how 
and how the enemy works very, very hard to take you away from him and to take you away from spending time with him because it's only by reading the word, reading your Bible, um, listening. Listening is vital. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I really like to talk, especially when it's about the Lord, especially when it's about um, the Bible, scriptures. And sometimes we have to learn to be quiet. Sometimes we have to learn to just listen for his voice because he's always going to be talking to us. He's always going to lead us. So it's important to have conversation with him, but it's also important to listen to his response to when you guys are talking or when you ask him something or when you send out prayers. Oh, that's an <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's another really awesome thing I want to talk to you about real quick. I am finding that the prayers of the saints, okay, because even in the Bible it says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Prayers right now are incredibly powerful, I'm telling you guys. I've been praying for certain people, okay, and like on my knees praying, uh, rebuking the enemy, rebuking any chains and, and anything that's been binding them, any any heavy yokes that have been placed on them by the enemy, just going into some spiritual warfare for some people. And I'm not joking you, guys. As soon as the next day rolled around, um, things have changed for these people. The atmosphere and, and their homes have changed. Um, the, the, the struggles, uh, the, the mental struggles, I mean, things are instantly happening. And, and, and it's not me. <laughs> It's the Lord. It's Jesus Christ. It's Yeshua HaMashiach that's listening. And he's granting those prayer requests. And anytime I pray for anybody, I always say, if it's your will, Father. So always within the will of God. Okay? Because sometimes we want to pray for something, for somebody. It might not happen because it's not his will. And he knows the past, present, and future. So he knows what's going to help them. He knows what's going to hurt them. He knows if any, you know... Doors might be open up to the enemy if something, a certain something is given or taken away or, or what have you. So always pray that God's perfect will is done in whatever you're praying for anybody. But pray, guys. Pray, I'm telling you. It is so powerful. Um, even if you're not praying for people specifically, pray for um, God's holy angels that are in constant warfare in the spiritual with the enemy. And, and, and the, and, um the fallen angels, right? Because there's a real war going on. Pray pray for your brothers and sisters who uh, haven't came to Christ yet. Pray for, for the body of Christ to stay strong and for those people um, that are feeling weary, and we all are. And trust me, we all are feeling it. We're feeling the drain. We're feeling the increased evil in the world. We're feeling um, the constant battle against the enemy. Um... Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for your family members. And just to touch on that real quick, don't obsess about your family members that aren't saved, okay? Somebody, uh, a wonderful brother in Christ one time told me, when you give something to the Lord, okay, when you present a family member to the Lord that's not saved or maybe that's struggling with something, give it to him. Put it at the foot of the cross and give it to him. Don't keep taking it back. Don't keep praying on the same thing. Don't keep saying the same thing over and over again. He's got you. He heard you the first time and he's working it out. So you got to have the faith that he's doing it. You got to have the faith that he's working on that person. And that whatever seeds that you've already planted, he's going to water them at the perfect time. At the perfect time. And for everyone that you've ever prayed for, he's going to take care of those people. Because he loves you. You don't think he's going to listen to the prayers of his children and those that we love, those that he's entrusted to us? Of course he will, guys. No one, no one that we've prayed for will just be left unattended. Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach is the shepherd and he loves each one of his sheep and he hears each one of our prayers. So you better believe that he's working. He's working in their lives. So don't make yourself sick with being worried that people aren't going to be saved or being worried that um, if somebody's left behind that horrible things are going to happen to them. It's going to be a really dark place, but the Lord's going to have them. 
and they're gonna be saved in the end okay so just a quick message of 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 how much Jesus how much how much Yeshua loves you and how important prayer is and how powerful it is and the importance of spending time with him every day I mean I don't go through <laughs> I feel like I anything I do I, I ask him to do it with me and it always turns out better <laughs> always 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 no matter what I'm doing you know I talk to him make sure you're talking to him guys make sure you're spending time with him he should be your number one priority because I'm telling you when you put him number one in your life when you put him first everything else comes perfect afterwards and not perfect and everything's going to be perfect but his will and and what's going to get you where you need to be is going to go way smoother than if you were going against you know what he wanted or or if you weren't listening to what he was saying so have faith in the lord okay and stay encouraged. And if you need to talk, send me a message. And you're not alone. And I'm praying for you guys. You always have somebody who's praying for you. Jesus Christ is always interceding for you. He's always interceding for you um, to the Father. So know that too. Okay. So I love you all. Keep talking to the Lord. Keep praying. Stay in the Word. Read the Bible. That is a sword. And when you read your Bible, read it out loud because it is like, 200 times more powerful, okay? You speak life in, in, into this world. You speak love. You speak his grace over people. You speak his promises when you're reading it. And you remind the enemy that you're a child of God. Therefore, he's given you all authority to crush the enemy under your foot, okay? You're a child of God. The enemy has no power. He only has the power that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, gives him. Don't forget that. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Okay? I love you all. Bye.